champions were crowned today. It was the final round of the Bobby Nichols Intercollegiate. Dylan Vazano coming at you. It's a rainy, windy Sevierville Golf Club. And in fact, weather did play a little bit of a role today. Hour and a half delay to start the women's round, but that did not murky the waters whatsoever for Jacksonville State. Gamecocks came into the day just two strokes ahead of Marshall. They would end up as your champion 11 strokes better than the second place thundering herd. For the Golden Eagles of Tennessee Tech, they jumped from fourth place to third place second best round of the day they ended up shooting 304 individually there was little drama you talk about Jacksonville State Valentina Giraldo she led after day one she led after day two she ends up leading after the whole entire tournament today shot a one under 70 overall minus three the only player to shoot under par for this tournament second place Carrie Parks of Marshall she ends up finishing eight over and a tie for third playing individually you had Mariah Smith out of Tennessee and Tennessee Tech senior Allison Dunn both ended up shooting nine over. You want some drama though? Well, that is what happened over on the men's side. Today, Carson Newman shot a 282, Eastern Kentucky a 286, but overall it was the Colonels of EKU. They take the tournament title, minus 14, edging Carson Newman, get this by just one stroke at minus 13. Third place, Austin P shot three under overall. Those are the only three teams to shoot in the negatives. And for the Golden Eagles, Tennessee Tech ends up finishing sixth overall out of 14 at nine over. Individually, though, Carson Newman did take that crown. The tournament champion individual standpoint is named Tom Forster. 13 under today shot a five under 67. He ends up winning by three strokes over Marshall's Alex Weiss. For the Golden Eagles, you have Matthew Giles. He paced the tech squad at even. However, playing as an individual at one under par for the tournament. Tied for 10th place was sophomore Dabby Dickinson. That is going to do it for our coverage here at the Sevierville Golf Club. We'll see you next year for the Bobby Nichols Intercollegiate.